Okay, so um, the release of the Gluten Maze and Mint, okay, um, I usually call it the hockey ball release because that's the main thing I usually use today. I'm actually not using a hockey ball, I'm just using a little myofascial ball. Um, you definitely don't want to go smaller than a golf ball and probably no bigger than like a, you know, one of the hard you know, soft balls, the soft ball game, yeah? Um, a lot of people use the cross balls. But basically, it's a you know, cricket ball, anything that is you know, pretty solid and spherical. Tennis balls, a lot of people like to try and use tennis balls, but they tend to give too much, all right? Um, they, they, they flatten off. Maybe in the early stages, if you're really, really tender, you could use a tennis ball, because actually you want a little bit of give, um, because it's just too, too sore for you. Um, but you want to be working up to you know, something that's fairly solid and obviously spherical so you can roll over it. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay on my side like I'm sort of chilling on the beach really. Alright, so um, elbow down on this side and then this foot. And these are what I'm going to post off alright, so that I can obviously raise and lower and increase the pressure or decrease the pressure on the, on the area that I'm working on. My other leg is just going to sort of sit meeting my, my foot like so, so as I can do this sort of clam type sort of position, right, so, so as I can easily move that leg as I want to. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to take the ball and we need to locate the tissue, so if that's the bony part of my hip, so that the, the lateral mode part of my hip, we call the greater trochanter, okay, so if I was laying on my side, it's the bony bit that's touching the floor, right, and then there's the crest of my pelvis that comes up and over, like so. All that meat that sits in between, that's your glute meads and mins, okay, there's a bit of TFL more towards the front and such, right? But basically it's that, that meat that you feel that sits between those two major bony points, all right? That's what we're trying to get into. So I take my ball, assume the position, take the ball, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll around a little bit, and then you'll find a sore spot. Once you find that sore spot, you're then gonna mobilize, okay? So from there, I adjust my pressure accordingly for me, and then I'm up and down like so, all right? Okay. You can also do it with the ball coming higher up so I can get right to the back of the crest of the pelvis, so where that pelvis comes around and sort of meets my spine almost, okay? This area as well, that can hold a lot of tension all down that line, so I'm almost like laying right on my back, yeah? So investigate that as well. So now I'm back on two elbows, right? Okay? And now I'm doing the same thing. Okay, and what's really nice about this as you do this is I'm actively engaging these muscles that oppose the muscles that we're stretching. Okay, this is a really important um, uh, concept, this hyper hypermobility um, rule of, okay, which I'm gonna do in another, in another post. All right, it's not good enough just to release off one area, I've gotta tighten up the slack that's been given in the other area, all right? So if these muscles are tight and they're pulling me out all the time, all right, then these muscles on the inside, all right, um, and the other internal rotators can get um, long and weak, all right? So I actually wanna tighten those up and you'll tend to find this if you're very very tight in these areas around the side you tend to find that this action alone just putting that leg up tends to be quite shaky and weak all right so that's why these kind of active mobility drills are really important over over the passive mobility drills um, again which i mentioned in, a, in another post um, so there's a place for passive work but not not generally speaking all right okay generally speaking sort of rule of thumb go to active um, and that's your, um, your glute meter mean release over, uh, over a ball.